Cider Week in Oregon. Cor Harlan joins us now from Helioterra Wines in Southeast Portland. Good morning, Cor. Morning, Ken. Morning, Jenny. This is the newest entry into the cider scene here in uh, Southeast Portland. So along Southeast 7th at about Lincoln, this is the Alter Ego Cider. And as Ken, you referenced, they have made wine here for a long time. They just uh, over the last weekend opened their cidery here where they have uh, 12, I believe, 12 ciders on tap in there from uh, both that they make here and uh, they some, some of the berries and some of the offerings they get from other places as well. From left to my right here, this is Ann Hubat. Hubach, yep. who was one of the principals, and this is Kevin Bates over here on the right. And uh, this is really a, an exploding section of the of the of the alcoholic beverage market, isn't it? That's right, not? absolutely. It's one of those uh, segments that is taking off because it is refreshing. It's approachable. In fact, both both women and men tend to gravitate towards this. It's not you know beer tends to be a guy's thing and right. wine tends to be a lady's thing. Cider is approachable to all all alter all, ego? all people. How'd you get the name Alter Ego? So I'm a winemaker, right? And it's my alter ego to make cider. Alter ego to make cider. Well, yeah. you've done a good job here. I want to just uh, from right to left. I did this last hour. This oh. is a this is a Bauman Farms. That's this one. Loganberry in there. Yep. There is a strawberry margarita one right there, Jenny. That'll be probably good for you. A dark royale with black currant in it. Now that actually looks like red wine, but that's actually black currant. And this is, of course, personal favorite right here. That is a strawberry rhubarb cider, and it is just delicious. All those flavors come through here. And that's the idea of cider, right, is to use what grows and put it into something and, and put it in a glass. That's right? right. We're really excited to be able to partner with other local businesses. We have one on that's a cold brew coffee, but we also work with farmers and, and choose the bounty of the Northwest. Blueberries, pomegranate, well, pomegranate. So pomegranate perfect, and blueberries. blueberries. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I tasted some of that. You have an event going on tonight, too, right? We do. We do. So tonight we're doing a Nocino class, which is an Italian walnut liqueur. So we're teaching people how to make this liqueur using our cider as one of the ingredients. And then that Nocino will be used as a winter cider that we make down the road for this season. Or it takes a season. while. You have to age it for a little you bit to too, right? The, yeah. Yeah. Well, that is a really cool deal, and you can see these. These are in all the uh, all the store. Uh, whole, would you say? Where are these well, at? A lot, of, a lot of the grocery retail around town, and some right. uh, bottle shops and whatnot. That's the label. You can look on here and see what's in it. This is the brute here with uh, modern apple cider, uh, and again, this is uh, this is a core favorite right here. Blueberry pomegranate cider right there, the guardian angel they call that. Here at 7th and Southeast Lincoln, we're close to a lot of other neighborhood breweries here. And of course, Division is exploding with restaurants, pubs, and breweries, as is this entire neighborhood just a little bit south uh, as, you, as you come out here on Southeast 7th and Lincoln. The Alter Ego Cider tap house and uh, production facility here, I guess, home as well as the Helioterra Winery, Ken, you referenced here. but. Exciter's exploding, and there's 70 events going on this week. Uh, to, to learn a little bit more about them, you can go to OregonCiderWeek.com and find out where they are and what they're doing. Jenny and Ken? Yeah, I mean, that blueberry stuff looks like the bomb right yeah. there. Yeah, I think that'd be oh, a yeah. Jenny favorite, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I like yeah. how... Uh,